time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. We're going to do a song by a group called Barkley James Harvest. I remember seeing their albums in the record stores in the 70s, and I always wondered what they sounded like, but I never took the opportunity to purchase any of their records. So, never knew what they were, if they were pop, if they were country, if they were uh, soul. I, I didn't have a clue what they sounded like. Well, about 15 uh, years ago, I received a digital file of all of Barkley James Harvest singles, A and B sides. And they have a lot of singles. Well, I never listened to it. I just never listened to it. Well, the other day, I had to put some new songs onto my tablet to listen to in my car. And one of the things that I added to the tablet were the singles by Barkley James Harvest. And I listened to everything in, in alphabetical order. So I'm not listening to one song after another by Barkley James Harvest. It, one just happens to pop up if it fits that uh, portion of the alphabet. Well, when I started listening to the songs as they came on, I'm going, you know, I'm not real sure what this group is about. I, I really couldn't tell. They were, they were pop, and then they were kind of symphonic, and and they were maybe progressive. They weren't heavy. They weren't heavy at all, but they were they were a good sounding band. So I kind of looked into them a little bit. I just read a a little bit about them in Wikipedia, so I'm no expert on Barkley James Harvest at all, but they are from the UK. They formed in 1966, and they put out their first single on the Parlophone label in 1968. They then left Parlophone to join Harvest because they were more of a progressive rock band. Now, I, I couldn't really tell that a lot from the singles I listened to, um, at least not the type of progressive rock that I'm used to listening to, but I'm not seeing that their albums were not progressive, I, and I have not heard one of their albums as of yet. Now, they do use a lot of orchestration in their songs, so maybe the orchestration part of it gives them that progressive feel. Well, as I'm listening to these songs by Barkley James Harvest, this week one popped up, and the name of the song was He Said Love. The lyrics were phenomenal. So when I'm listening to a group for the first time, a lot of times the lyrics pass me by because I'm listening to the music. But the lyrics to the song, He Said Love, just grabbed me. And I, and I had to listen to the lyrics all the way through the song. And I've only heard the song once. So today is going to be the second time I heard it. And I'm hoping it hits me as hard as it did the first time I listened to it. Now, why am I playing this song today? Well, today in the Christian religion, it is Good Friday. It is the day that Jesus Christ died on the cross. So I thought this song is really appropriate for today. Now, when you listen to the lyrics, you'll understand why. So I'm not going to go any further into it. We're going to listen to Barkley James Harvest doing the song, He Said Love, which was a single they released in 1986. So here we go. was a man who was born to be king. He changed all our lives and he made my heart sing. He turned water into wine and called his fisherman. He cured the sick, the lame could walk, the blind could see again. He 
told us of the shepherds and the flowers in the field, the story of the farmer's seed and the harvest it would yield. He told us of two houses and the man who lost his son, of two men in the temple and the good Samaritan. I, I just, like I said, I, I listened to this once. I heard it this week in my car. And that's not the best place to listen to music because there's so much road noise and so on. But it just hit me. It just hit me. It's like, wow, this song's coming up on Easter week in my car. This is amazing. How does that happen? And I just, as I'm listening to the lyrics, I'm going, they're talking about Jesus. I, initially, when, when it started out and I'm hearing the lyrics, I'm going, okay, what's this about? Then when he talks about turning water into wine and 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 feeding people with, with the fish and the fishermen and all this stuff i'm going they're talking about jesus how cool and i love the beginning with those horns it it makes it sound very much royalty like you know where you know the royalty would be coming in and they'd be playing those horns i thought that was really cool the acoustic guitar and now one thing i noticed about about barkley james harvest and the singles that i've heard so far they use a, the acoustic guitar a lot which is really pretty cool i love the sound of the acoustic guitar so that's really neat you got the bass you got the drums you know you got the regular instrumentation that you would think to hear in a rock song but i just thought the lyrics are just outstanding in this song so let's keep on going Talk to people 
Wow. That was a pretty good video too. I, I hadn't seen this video. I, I was looking, there's, there's probably half a dozen uh, videos out there for this particular song. Um, there was one where they, you know, overlaid the, um, the sound, the, the, the song over them doing it live. And uh, I thought, okay, you know, I played a little bit of it and it looked okay. But then I saw this one and it's like, no, this is the one I got to do because the song is all about Jesus's life. If it, when you listen to the words, they're going through like one of the books, you know, Mark, Matthew, Luke, John, one, one of the four books. And they're, they're saying all the high points of what Jesus did and, and what happened in his life to the point at the end where he's crucified. And I like the line where they said, you know, if you let him in, uh, you know, it's, it's what you should be doing. You should, you'll, it, it will highlight your life. And that's not quite how they said it. I'm not good at repeating lyrics, but that was the point they were trying to make. And um, just really kind of a cool song. Like I said, when I heard it, it was like, wow, this is not like anything else that Barkley James Harvest did, at least nothing that I've heard up to that point. And it just kind of blew me away. And it's like, I got to do this song on Driving With Todd because it is it is really a good song. And, and the lyrics are just so telling. Um, and, and musically... I can see where this song is fairly progressive. You know, it starts out with those horns in the beginning, then the acoustic guitar, the bass, and then a slight drum. And as the song builds, more and more instruments come in. The drums get a lot heavier. And then there's a large crescendo at the end of the song. So, you know, it, it does have that feel of a progressive rock song. So really cool. I, I just really love this song. I thought it was very appropriate for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. That'd be really appreciated. Uh, if you have any comments about Barkley James Harvest doing the song, He Said Love, please put in the comments below. That'd be really appreciated. And if you have any other comments about Barkley James Harvest, because I know very little about this band, though I'm enjoying listening to their singles, um, some of them I kind of question, but uh, if you have more information that you know about this band, put in the comments below as well i'm going to take a link to this video and i'm going to put it in my description below and if you want to watch it again just pick on the link it will open up and play for you and i won't be stopping and making any comments also i'm going to put a link to the channel that uploaded this video into my description so you might want to click on that link check out that channel there might be some other really good uh videos out there for you to watch now have you subscribed to driving with todd if you haven't like I said, we're doing all kinds of cool stuff on Driving With That. We're picking genres, or maybe we might take a week and, and dedicate it to certain songs, like we did this week for, for Easter week. Um, we, we do a lot of comparisons of different groups doing the same song. So we're, we do a lot of cool stuff. So come on, join the fun. Go below this video, below the title of the video, and hit that subscribe button. You make me very happy. If you go over here, ring the bell. You'll get updates to my latest videos. So, like I like I said, I heard this song the other day in my car, and it blew me away. I said, this is one I got to do on Driving With Todd and, and share it with a lot of people that maybe have never heard of Barkley James Harvest or maybe never heard this song. But it is a wonderful song. Put a big smile on my face. I'm hoping to put a big smile on your face. And peace out, baby. <laughs>